it's pretty incredible coming in and seeing all of these cards that you've received from so many people. It's like, this girl has the power of everyone behind her. She does. Last time I talked to you about Philomena Stendardo, she was still at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia following a biopsy that revealed that she has a stage four glioblastoma. That's a very aggressive form of brain cancer. I talked to Gina, Phil's aunt, and she shared the family's one wish. That's prayers for Phil. You need to pray with faith and confidence there because there is no room for fear. And man, oh man, have those prayers been loud and powerful. After a rough week at the hospital, I am happy to report that Phil is back home and getting stronger each and every day. Phil has one week left of radiation and doctors say that her progress is amazing and she's exactly where she should be at this point. Based on how well she's doing, the tumor is shrinking. She was sitting up in the chair, in the bed. At one point, he and I walked out of the room at the same time she climbed out of bed. We don't know how she opened the door, but she was in the hallway. The Stendardos know that their little girl is in the best hands at CHOP. But they also know that God is the ultimate healer and that his work has been nothing short of amazing. One priest in particular, Father Tim Byerly from over in Merchantville, St. Pete's, he came with the first class relic of Maria Esperanza, who has been credited with a um, miracle at CHOP in 2010. Really? I'm hoping that Phil is the reason she gets canonized. No. And I have a feeling she will. Just listen to this story. Phil was not doing well at all um, and for some reason this day her heart rate at this point was very high father tim came in for the first time and he talked to her and he blessed her and he blessed me and um immediately phil's heart rate went down to the 70s she fell asleep and honestly every day since she's gotten better but it doesn't stop there turns out phil has the biggest prayer warrior of them all on her side yeah we got something in the mail today from the pope what the pope he sent a papal letter showing his support and prayers for Phil. How incredible is that? Just this past weekend, over 40 little kids gathered in the Standardo's backyard to pray the rosary for Phil. Her story isn't just about her, it's bigger than her, and it's teaching people to have faith and to pray. So guys, keep praying. This little girl just needs your prayers. We're storming the heavens, Phil. It's a great story of faith and, and hope and struggle and fighting and overcoming odds. Well, I think it gives everybody, you know, a reason to fight so much right now, especially with talk about assisted suicide. There's that thought that anything that an illness is your ultimate doomsday, a tumor. Who's to think that you could beat a tumor? And so this gives people faith out there that, you know, there are higher workings out there and they can help you get through it.